Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'll be answering questions you maybe already had or always will have if you don't watch this video. So stay tuned, it's about Frozen Flame. All links I'll mention are in the description and let's get it started. So first of all, many people ask like, can we buy it? Where's the game right now, etc, etc. So long ago there was an alpha where you could buy it and uh, back it with money of course and then it, I don't know, I think three years ago launched its beta phase where I kinda bought it I think and uh, after this, like after a while they stopped selling at all. Like there were some key giveaways for the CBT version which means uh, as soon as it releases an early access uh, you will have to buy it again but that's kinda it, they stopped the selling. So at the moment you can buy the game if you have bought it long ago. Um, I'll put you the Exola link in the description. It's the launcher the game used before it has got Steam support. So if you still have your key from your email which you bought it from and uh, then you just get a download the launcher, insert your key and you'll be able to play the beta version as it is right now. For all of you who don't have the game till now, you guys can only play the demo or wait till early access. Then to the roadmap, uh, what is planned for the game, blah 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 blah. There's just uh, official roadmap from the dev team themselves, I'll leave the link in the description. So at the moment you can only rent G Portal servers, not for the demo version. The dev said that you will be able to rent dedicated servers later, maybe at full release, maybe already at early access, we don't really know it. So uh, they added this new feature, play together via Steam for the demo and the beta version. So you can actually invite friends um, in your settings, the tab uh, invite friends and in your inventory as well for in-game friending people they just have to be in your near and then you can send friend requests and accept them about uh, shelter which you need to for example play as workbench teleporting and blueprints I have made already a little video about some things some needy things you need to know and they're mentioned there and I'll leave the link of course as well in the description then coming to tough locks, I think the number one question asked by demo players. The tough locks are actually a random drop from normal trees or they can be bought from the NPC CU. Uh, I'll show you the location right now. He is here on the map and then you just walk to him and you get a traded for blue crystal or heavenly crystal I think it's called. This is of course mostly for campaign because in PvP mode there are actually right now no NPCs but they're thinking about changing this as well. Then for the wines, you can destroy them with fire, for example, fire breath or a torch, and or the staff, and they give you access to either uh, different chests or like this one to the new dungeon where the iron bound is found. We'll talk about them later. Uh, talking about iron bound, uh, many people ask also what is the loot table or something and what. Um, entities or enemies drop what so basically every every creature you can kill can drop coins and blue crystal and of course xp then there's skeletons that give you bones you can find the bubble head by killing those bubbles there's by the way also a nice cult going on in the discord server the official discord server from frozen flame join it and i'll make a video about this <laughs> little bit occultismic called later then there is the mage he can drop flame seed and talking about those cursed now there's as well the archer and the x fighter who both have different masks they can drop and they all can drop fabric health potions and as well as everyone else or well, everything else coins in blue crystal then the boss can give you hide meat and bones and the rest of stuff we have mentioned for every monster, like I'll not mention it again. Then those frosty skeletons, I'm not sure how they're called exactly, they can only be found during blizzards and blizzards only occur on the floating islands, they will not appear in the starter biome. They can drop flame seed, flame essence and the other stuff. Ghost boas, I'm not sure how or why they spawn, L like I didn't see any system yet, it seems pretty randomly. They can have flame seeds and often a lot more blue crystal. Then the ghosts, uh, also found in different locations on the map, can drop blue crystal 
and there will be more creatures following with new biomes and there were already more creatures like I know there are many creatures they have in store they will just bring out with the new biomes so stay tuned and this list will continue. Then for bosses the loot table I think the most interesting is the Ironbound in the dungeon where I showed you the entrance just before he can drop HP potions and blue crystals and from the chest behind him you get a n this uh, cool helmet Pretty OP to be honest. Crystal, Flame Essence and Frozen Flame. I'll explain the difference in a bit. Then the Earth Golem, uh, he can drop blue crystals down on Flint. Then the big fat Titan, the like at the moment biggest boss kinda drops nothing but a story quest item and XP. But therefore much XP. Then a uh, chest, there are many different ones. They can drop blue crystal, coins, blueprints, resources, quest items, health potions, etc. etc. And uh, even rings or flame essence or uh, yeah, like in case of diamond bound armor. If you're wondering what flame essence is, it's kinda XP to eat. <laughs> then uh, vases, there are different resources, consumables. They can of course all as well drop coins, blueprints and they can spawn waste monsters. Like if you see these other kind of wazes that are more boxes, they can do this, but the normal wazes, at least in the dungeon, can uh, if you destroy them spawn waste monsters. So for the NPCs, uh, most of them are traders as well, which is kinda important. For example for blueprints, different items, like see you with the tough lock. Or the backpack right in the starter location, very important if you ask me. Then coming to flames, well, first of all this bar up here is your flame meter, aka your XP. Then uh, you have your flames, those are kinda your skill points, you mostly get them to level up. And then you have class levels you need for example to wield better weapons or weapons at all. You can level them at the altar and for example right now we only have two, three classes and uh, all of them you can level to level 13 at the moment with your flames aka skill points. Then dodging, yes there is kind of dodging, uh, you can only use it in combat and it's spacebar in combination with the direction you're walking in and it'll give a little dodge animation which can get you out of the range of enemies. What is the number above workbenches some people ask and it actually shows you how much new recipe you can craft in it. Access to doors etc. So uh, you can actually change uh, who on a server can access your buildings and uh, for example your teleporter if you set it to public or everyone, everyone can teleport to it and see it on their map. You can only set it to friends or you can uh, set it to only yourself so no one except the one who has built it can open and use it. The ability to fly, this is mostly a demo question to be honest, and you'll get it after reaching the dragon, and uh, which is why you can't get it in the demo because uh, this is where the demo actually ends. Is there iron ore in the demo? Also frequently asked question and to say it simple, no. Uh, servers for the demo, like I said before, no you can't rent them and there were servers from the game itself but they stopped it so right now the demo is only a single player experience. Like I said you can invite friends via Steam but that's it. Will progress you make now be transferred into early access and then full release? No. Simply not for demo and not for the beta version. But um, maybe the early access version progress will be transferred into the full release. In the campaign mode you can't reach the flying isles. You are bound uh, to the starter island and after reaching the dragon, killing the three mini bosses on the starter island and getting to the portal, you know what I'm talking about once you've played it, then that's the end of the demo and you can't get anything further. Like you can explore the whole starter island and that's it. So uh, there are further videos planned where I'll explain you building in depth because <laughs> It can be quite confusing as well sometimes and I'll do a main storyline walkthrough or main questline walkthrough further in the future. If more people are interested I'll also do maybe videos about where all the loot is hidden, all the chests are or whatever. So <laughs> if you like that and if you're watching forward to these videos you can always support me via Patreon. I don't know why I would do it but do it. <laughs> 
Then uh, in the description, like I mentioned, is the official Frozen Frame website, there's Steam, uh, the Steam link for the demo, their Discord server, then I'm as well recruiting players, uh, I will start my guild at early access, probably on a PvP server, let's see how the game develops till then. So if you're interested, the link is as well in the description, just join the Discord and we'll sort everything other out there. And yeah, that's it, like, subscribe, leave questions in the comments or just appreciation for my hard work and effort. Thank you very much for tuning in and goodbye.